Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, let us discuss now one question of issue of shares where shares are issued at premium. Premium means some extra amount charged by the company in relation to nominal value of share. For example, if share is of rupees 10 and company is selling it for 12 rupees, the 2 rupees additional which is taken by the company is called as securities premium. Of course, this is a profit for the company which can be used by the company for certain limited purposes. How to record securities premium or share premium? Let us understand in this question. Let us go through the question. Quick deal company invited application for 10,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each. So number of shares 10,000, nominal value, face value is rupees 100 to be issued at a premium of rupees 10. That means share of rupees 100 is issued at premium of 10 means 100 plus 10 at the rate of 110. Amount on shares was called as under on application 20, allotment 40, on first call 30, on final call 20. If we add all these values, it comes to 110. Here in the absence of information, we are required to adjust premium of 10 rupees at the time of allotment. So allotment amount which is given 40 rupees will have break up 30 towards share capital and 10 rupees towards securities premium. Journalize the transactions assuming that all sums due received in the books of quick deal company limited. First entry will be for receiving application amount rupees 20 per share on 10,000 equity shares. First entry for receiving application amount, bank account debit on 10,000 shares, 20 rupees each, amount received will be 2 lakhs. To equity share application account, 2 lakhs. Second entry is for transferring this application amount to share capital account. AC on kar. Equity share application account debit 2 lakhs to equity share capital account 2 lakhs. This is for transferring application amount to equity share capital account. With this we have completed first stage that is application stage. Next we have allotment stage where we are required to adjust 40 rupees of which 30 rupees will be applied to share capital and 10 rupees will be towards securities premium shareholder will be paying total 40 rupees on allotment we are required to record first entry for demanding allotment amount including securities premium
for demanding allotment amount the entry recorded is equity share allotment account debit on 10,000 shares 40 rupees per share amount is 4 lakhs to equity share capital account 10,000 shares multiplied by 30 towards capital 3 lakhs on 10,000 shares per share 10 rupees securities premium to securities premium that is amount is rupees 1 lakh so on allotment shareholder is required to pay 4 lakhs of which 3 lakh will be applied towards capital and 1 lakh towards securities premium being equity share allotment amount due including premium of rupees 10 all shareholders have paid this amount so next entry will be for receiving amount of allotment bank account debit 4 lakhs to equity share allotment account 4 lakhs this is an entry for receiving allotment amount so we have completed application and allotment amount our next stage will be final call stage so our next stage is first call where we are required to take 30 rupees per share from the shareholders company will be demanding this first call amount Accordingly, we are required to record an entry for first call amount due. equity share first call account debit to equity share capital account on 10,000 shares per share 30 rupees it comes to 3 lakhs all the shareholders have paid this amount so next entry will be for receiving this amount bank account debit to equity share first call account amount is 3 lakhs being first call amount received with this we have completed first call stage let us move to final call final call is rupees 20 per share company has demanded this final call of rupees 20 and all shareholders have paid this amount first we are required to record entry for demanding final call equity share second and final call account debit to equity share capital account on 10,000 shares per share 20 rupees so amount due is rupees 2 lakhs this amount is paid by all shareholders so our next entry will be for receiving final call amount
this is the last entry bank account debit to equity share second and final call account 2 lakhs that means company has received final call amount of 2 lakhs being final call amount received in this question we are required to focus on amount of securities premium in the absence of information it should be always adjusted with allotment amount securities premium is a profit for the company it is credited to a separate account thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you